Okay, we're going to go over the date function in Google Sheets. It's a pretty simple function by itself. All it does is it, it takes a year, month, and a day, and then it outputs it as a date that's ready to use as a value in a spreadsheet. One thing to keep in mind is the way the dates work. This that's being displayed as February 20th is really just a number underneath. And you can see that if I just go change it to a number, it's really 35,481, but it can display it to you as a date. So the 220-1997 is what the date function is returning in this example. And that by itself really isn't very useful. I don't know why you'd ever do that just by itself. But you could use it to turn numbers into dates and then use those resultant dates in formulas or use it the other way around to do extract dates. If you have numbers, say, that have month in one column, year in the other, and a day in the next. So I have a couple formulas here to show you why you might want to use a date function. Dates do work strangely in spreadsheets. And if you try to just do something like this, where you just think, oh, I'll type one date and then I'll subtract it from another date, it just doesn't work. Google Sheets thinks you're trying to do 3 divided by 11 divided by 2015, etc. So it does that math. It gives you a number, but that number is not what you wanted. If you're a person that uses the dashes to show dates, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to try to subtract. What you want to do, there's two ways to work around it. You can either put quotes around the date values or you use a date function like we talked about before. So here's the date function shown as text. And I just did that by putting a little single quote at the beginning of it. Now this cell has it typed into it. So these, this is two dates, one day apart, subtract the two, I get one. You still may not be convinced really as to the utility of the function, right? Because it's probably easier just to do it like this. But if you use a date function, there's one thing that you can rely on is it's always the same order. It's, it's year, month, day. So if you're international or you have people working in different countries, this can standardize it because the locale set for Google Sheets in this example is United States. Someone using it somewhere else, if you're sharing a spreadsheet, could be in a country whose convention isn't in this order. And now for more of um, a real world example, I try to just cook one up. There's millions of real world examples, but most of them are going to be too specific and complicated to really be helpful. So this one should be pretty simple. I'm acting like I have a spreadsheet here with columns for years, months, and days. For whatever reason, that's the way that you have it and you want to work with it. So the date function is perfect here. It can take these three arguments, click on it here, the year, the month, and the day, and just turn it into a date. And the way I'm doing this one is I'm combining it with the today function that returns the uh, date as of the day you're looking at the spreadsheet. So if I were to go back in here tomorrow, this would be changed. And what this is doing is this is calculating the age. Let's say these are people, the age of these people in days. So it makes sense to have to be using the today function as well, because tomorrow they're going to be a day older. If you were to look at this, just to want to see someone's age, you probably want to divide it by 365. Oh, An even, even better way would probably be to use the date diff function, which is a bit off track because it's not the date function, but it can take the difference between two days. And as you see here, you can do the output just in years or a combination of any other units. So keep that in mind with what you're doing. It may work better than uh, a combination with the date function. But that's mostly what the date function does. It's a function to get numbers into the right format and then allow you to build a bigger formula on top of it. So I hope that was helpful. If you want to see this live spreadsheet, just go to sheetshelp.com and look at the date function. There'll be a link to it. See, there's a little link back here. So uh, I hope you found that helpful.